Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am back in my normal makeup studio so hopefully the lighting and everything is just more consistent. So um, I'm going to be doing my Ipsy today and again it's going to be a like try on haul. That way we get to see how the product works and then I come back at the end of the day and tell you the rest of my thoughts on it. So in this month's Ipsy I got a like crease blending brush. Um, and then I got the coconut blush, um, kind of, it's kind of like a two thing, it has a blush and a bronzer kind of thing, and it's from Pacifica, and it just, it's like a full size product, which is really nice, and so we're going to try that on, and it does have a mirror on the back of it. And then I got an eyeshadow from the Balm, and it's the Balm Voyage one, so it's just like a brownish shade, so. We'll probably um, use that in my crease a little bit. And then I got a um, concealer, which I'll be using under my eyes. And then an eye cream, which I have been trying out. And so far, it's just been really nice to have under my eyes, kind of like moisturizing. So we are just going to get right into it. Okie dokie. So the first thing I'm going to be putting on is the concealer. And it's um, from Winky Lux. And it says it's the Peeper Perfect. So it's a full coverage concealer, and it doesn't really like say which shade it is, but um, I have like kind of like squeezed it out a little bit, and it does look like it'll kind of work nicely. Like it's not too brightening, so it'll um, just kind of look how it is under the eye. So it's just kind of like that shade, and we're just going to put it right under. Yeah, it's definitely not lightening at all. It's more of just like a normal shade. It's actually kind of a bit dark. So I'm actually going to end up mixing a concealer with it just so cuz I'm not going to go around with dark under eyes like you can tell how orange it is compared to my normal skin tone. So maybe if I would have gotten a lighter one it would have been better. So I'm just going to mix it with um the Tarte Shape Tape foundation since I got light sand and it's just a bit too light so I always have to mix it with foundation or concealers that are a little bit darker. Alright, so that is how the concealer is looking. It's kind of just alright, but um, the Shape Tape concealer did lighten it up a bit, so that is actually really good because it was looking way dark. But I'm gonna, just going to set it with Cody Airspun and I'm going to set the rest of my face as well. Okay, so I set the rest of my face and the concealer is just kind of okay so far. It did crease on me um, pretty much automatically so I had to blend that out before putting on the powder but I just set it normally. I didn't do any baking. But um, we are going to be using the cute little precise blending brush and it just has like little jewels on the side and um, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. But first I'm going to be using like a bigger fluffy brush to kind of get more of the other shades kind of mixed out first. Just because this is a bit more, like it, like it says, precise, so it's for more of the darker shades. So I'm just going to do some lighter shades in my crease and then start using that. Okay, so I actually ended up just using the um, Tarte Tartus Pro palette. Just because it has more of the purpley shades and that's kind of what I'm wearing. So we're going to end up using this one today instead of the Jaclyn Hill palette because it has more red tones and such. So um, I just ended up blending like these three colors on my crease and um, so we're going to take this kind of brownish shade to kind of put that in the outer corner and see how that's so far. So I'm just going to pick a little bit up. A lot of fallout came off on that and then we're just going to kind of blend it on this outer edge. Um, so I don't know if you guys can really see it, it kind of gives off like a, a shimmer, which is fine, but um, I don't really use like brown shimmers ever on my lids. I'm more of a like lighter kind of lid kind of thing and then like darker, kind of like a smoky eye but not as intense. So, I don't know how often I would be using this, but um, it did kind of blend out nice, so 
Maybe another day I'll try and just put it all over my lid when I'm going for a more neutral, but I definitely want more of a purple look today, so we're just going to clean off my brush and go in with some more of these um, purpley shades with the brush. Alright, I have finished my eye makeup. Um, I haven't put any mascara or anything on, but that's when I get up because it's kind of chilling in my bathroom. But we are going to go into the Pacific palette. So, um, yeah, like I said, my face is already powdered and everything. So I'm just going to take this side, which looks more like the bronzery looking side. I mean, it says blush, but it kind of looks like it looks orange. So we're going to see if it works as a kind of like a bronzer. If I didn't drop. Okay, so that is definitely more of a blush, so I'm going to put on my bronzer and I will be right back. Alright, so I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and I'm going to kind of use this more um, pinkish looking shade, even though this does turn out to be a blush and not a bronzer, um, I still want the more pinky looking blush, so um, I'll just get a little bit on my brush, tap it off a little, and we're going to go in. Alright, so this is definitely, at least the pink one is definitely like a more pigmented blush. And I'm actually kind of like really enjoying it. Like it did go on, um, like I thought it would, cause I thought it would go on kind of like patchy, but it did end up blending out really nicely. So that is a plus. I'm going to put on some highlight. And I'm actually going to go for a more like purpley looking one today. So it's the one from Lula that I got a while ago in one of my Ipsy boxes. So we're just going to put that on and um, finish up the look. Alright, so my makeup is finished and we're just going to kind of do like an overview of my thoughts currently and then we're going to do one at the end of the night. So we'll just start with like a little brush. So, um, so the brush is just alright. It's kind of a bit too stiff, but it's okay. Like I have to use it a little bit more to see if maybe I can work with it and see what else I could do with it, but um, so far it's just alright. Um, I don't really care much for, much for it right now, it's just a little bit too stiff, it doesn't really um, blend it out really nice. Okay, so then it's the eye cream, which um, I can't use obviously today because I put on makeup, but I have been kind of using it and it does make your eyes feel really nice um, underneath and it just moisturizes it really nicely, so so far so good on this one. Alright, next is the um, eyeshadow the Bomb Voyage one, the brown shimmer. I mean, it's alright, but obviously I wanted to do a more dark, smoky look, and this is definitely for a more, like, natural day, where you maybe just put this on the lid, which I don't personally really do, but um, it's kind of just like a good general shade for the people that do like to do that. I like to do more intense looks, but um, yeah, it's just alright. The eyeshadow seems really nice, though. It's really creamy and it runs out nice from what I did on the outer corner. The concealer is definitely not my favorite. It's way too dark and it doesn't brighten and it already like started creasing underneath. Like it kind of just like got goopy instantly. So um, maybe I'll try um, putting it like on spots on my face, like um, pimples and such to see if maybe it works better for that than it did under the eye. But we will see at the end of the night. So. And finally, it's the Pacifica palette. I really like the blush. Um, I will try this one out again, but um, I did think it was a bronzer, but it's definitely more of a like a brownish kind of blush, like a natural looking blush. So I do really like the palette, and I think it does blend out so far, so we're just going to see the wear on it. So I will come back at the end of the night and give you guys my thoughts. Alright, I am here at the end of the night. So. Um, pretty much the blush held up really good as you can kind of see it's still on my face and it's been about 13 hours of wear. Okay, so the concealer is just kind of alright. My mascara ended up kind of like smudging on it if you can see and I wear this mascara a lot. It's just the, um, the falsies one from Maybelline and with my normal concealers it works perfectly fine. So maybe I had to like bake under my eyes or something but um, it just... It ended up creasing, um, but 
and I did have to mix it with something else because it was too dark of a concealer. So I'm going to try it as a, kind of like a spot treatment for my acne and see if that's any better. Eyeshadow, um, I feel like it's a good formula, but I don't know how often I'm going to use it just because, I, as I said earlier, I don't really use the um, brown shimmers just because I like a more bold eye. And if I go natural looking, it's going to be lighter on the lid. I don't just do, like, brown. But um, for, like, an everyday kind of color for people who like more simple makeup, it's probably a good choice. The, uh, the eye cream that came with it, um, I do like it. Um, I'll continue to use it. And I'll, when I finish it and I put it in an empties video, I'll update you guys on if I thought it worked or if it was worth it or not. But so far, I am liking it. The last thing is the brush. And as I said earlier... Um, it just doesn't blend that well. It's kind of stiff, but I'll try to continue to use it. Maybe just to blend the darker out of corner colors, but for what I used it for today, it just didn't do that well. So it's kind of like in between. Eh. And finally, the bag it says Peace Love Lipstick, because I never said that earlier in the video. But um, I do like how like it's ombre and such, but um, I think it's one of the cuter bags just because it has like the little frills. And it's just, uh, it's like a bigger kind of bag. Some of the bags, like the lipstick one with the lips, um, was just kind of too small, so I wasn't really able to use it. But um, this one seems like a decently sized bag, and I do like the design of it this month. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content from me.